central core inside all human beings was, he said, just another limitation in human freedom. In reality, there was no fixed self, which meant that you could be anything that you wanted to be. The thesis of the human potential movement was that there was something really good down in there. And if you took these layers off, what you were going to wind up with was eternal, 
a something that was innately self-expressive, that was the true self that was going to be a wonderful thing. In actuality, we found people who had gone to the last layer, but the last layer, we found that what was left was nothing. The S sessions were intense and often brutal. The participants signed contracts agreeing not to leave and to allow the trainers to do anything they thought necessary to break down their socially constructed identities. Existentialism's end point. Estlin stepped further in that people began to recognize that it was not only meaningless and empty, but it was empty and meaningless that it was empty and meaningless. And in that there's an enormous freedom. All the constrictions, all of the rules you placed on yourself are gone. And what you're left with is nothing. And nothing is an extraordinarily powerful place to stand because it is only from nothing that you can create. And from this nothing, people were able to invent a life and allowing them to create themselves. Invent yourself. You can be what you want to be. to the start to make that sound. Earhart did was to say that only the individual matters, that there is no societal concern, that you living a fulfilled life is all you need to be concerned about. Ask people came out of those trainings feeling that it wasn't selfish. To be